Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is another vlog. By the way, my name is Becca. I say that in literally every video. I don't know if I even need to do that anymore. Today is an extremely cold day. It's just an extremely cold week. This is the week in, I guess, the Midwest and probably like, well, definitely in like New England and everything that temps are down. <laughs> very low. This is my first time ever experiencing negative numbers. I've never been in weather that's like colder than 10 degrees or so and I feel like even that is a stretch. Like the coldest I remember Tucson ever getting was 18 degrees and I would walk to the bus stop in 18 degrees when I was like, I don't know, in fifth grade or something. And that happened like, I don't know, three times in my life. So other than that, I haven't really been in really cold weather. Let me be honest, I'm trying to be positive about it and like enjoy it because it's beautiful. Um, we've had snow on the ground for the last probably week now. It's stuck for a very long time. Usually when it's snowed since we've been here, it'll like melt within, I don't know, three days or so, but it's like frozen. So we are also having a really hard time keeping our house warm because we're trying to use our wood stove like exclusively, but that's been really hard because the house just does not want to go above 70 degrees. <laughs> Even when we're like blasting that thing all day, like stuffing it with wood and it's burning really hot, it just is still not enough to heat the house because it is so cold and our windows are really old and I need to get that like shrink wrap stuff. Um, I think I'm gonna do that in this vlog because like we really need it, especially in the kitchen, it's so cold in here. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna make myself breakfast. I've been drinking smoothies again, which <laughs> is so counterintuitive for how cold it is because it makes me more cold. But if I drink it while sitting in front of the fireplace, it kind of like counteracts. I'm just like way too cold today for that. So I just cracked open an avocado and look at this perfect avocado. I was like too eager to rip it open. So it's like not a beautiful cut. Why is this? Look at this avocado. It is perfect like perfection so i'm gonna make some avocado toast because i feel like that's a nice option um i usually do an over easy egg <laughs> a bird just tried to fly in here i hope it's okay hold on i'm gonna go check on it okay it was fine it was just like chilling out i was making sure that it didn't injure itself or like since it was flying so low that it wasn't hurt but it actually was just trying to hide in the bushes I sustained an injury from the the knife we saw so I just tried to put on this band-aid and it, I guess it's a clear band-aid I don't know anyway it looks like I'm like cutting off my blood circulation doesn't it I don't feel like it's actually that tight anyway I'm gonna go watch this YouTube video <laughs> this chai that I got from this coffee shop in Tucson and I always knew that they sold like they, they bought the concentrate from a company it's called Maya chai and so I have not like found a coffee shop here in Colombia that uses this chai um, and I know that they had a website so I went on and found their website and I freaking ordered some concentrate but I think that this concentrate bottle is massive and I didn't, <laughs> I didn't necessarily know that. Um, let's see. Okay, it's pretty big, but <laughs> normally chai concentrates come in like the tiniest little bottle, um, but this was a lot more. There it is, and it also came with a pump that you just reuse every time you reorder, so it'll be a very, very long time before I reorder. I think that I used to see them put like one or two pumps per drink, so I'm so excited to have this bag. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, it says one pump. Oh yeah, it'll, there's, it literally says the concentrate and how much you should put. Okay, very cool. But yeah, it's like one or two pumps, so it's, it's gonna be a while before I get through this, so. Wow, I'm so excited about that. 
that's the only update I have for right now. And I did end up making a smoothie actually because I got a little warm sitting by the fire and I will be going back over there, but I have a meeting right now, so. I will talk to you guys probably when I'm done with work because I have to work now. <laughs> All right, so it is the end of the day now and we are still in my kitchen, but we just got back from doing some errands and I got some oat milk because I want to try oat milk. I think I talked about this. Per yeah, earlier I talked about this because I got the chai stuff, which is right here. And I wanted to try a chai with oat milk because there's someone I follow on Instagram who literally always has chai with oat milk. And I've never had oat milk before. I just don't usually like milk alternatives. But I had a bad experience with some, some dairy a couple weeks ago and haven't really wanted to drink it since. <laughs> so um, it was a bathroom experience. Okay, I think they got it. <laughs> well, you know, just in case. Do you want to try oat milk? Oat milk? Honestly, that's not bad at all. So I got Oatly, which is like the iconic oat milk brand. It tastes like oats, but watered. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's oats and water. And then I got this. This is by Silk. Um, and this says extra creamy. Because I was talking to Nicole my clean leaves about oat milk. And she said that there's a creamy one. And I, like the thing that I love about like dairy milk is just the creamy aspect of it. Like I love whole milk, which is so embarrassing, but I'm like half and half. I just can't get enough of it. It might be a little bit frivolous, but I have a lot of chai and I drink a chai. I'll probably drink a chai like every single day, maybe twice a day. So I wanted to try out these two. Mm, okay. I actually really like this stuff. Like, I feel like it would actually be good in cereal too. The extra creamy, I think wins, but I don't think it's absolutely necessary. Like the Oatly is fine as well. Like, honestly, they both taste really good to me. This one, the flavor just seems a little bit more enhanced. So I would say, actually, I don't remember how much these cost. Let's, let's find out, hold on. Ah, okay, Oatly was $5 and the Silk one was $3.69. So the extra creamy was actually cheaper and I kind of liked that one more. But let's see like how they stack up nutrition fact wise. There's a lot of ingredients that are not like oats and water. I think that's where they get you. This one says oat milk, filtered water, oat concentrate, sunflower oil, vitamin and mineral blend. Okay, much to think about, but anyway. My first go around with oat milk seems to be a good one. So I'm gonna make a chai now and let's do this. I think I'm gonna use this one. Really? Hey Daniel, can you open this for me? Daniel couldn't open it either. We have a bit of a situation. Okay, here we go. Oh my God, that literally tastes exactly like a chai that I would have at home, except I can definitely taste that it's oat milk instead of cow's milk, but it's not that big of a difference, honestly. That is so good. Why was I like hating on oat milk for so long? Okay, tomorrow we're gonna try oat milk with cereal. Do people eat it with cereal? I'm not really sure. I will link this down below. If you are from Tucson or just Arizona in general, I believe that this is the chai that Cartel Coffee Lab uses. And it's the same chai that Presta and I think that might be it that I know of. Anyway, delicious stuff. So in other news, it happens to be a Thursday. Tomorrow is Saturday. It is actually uh, Valentine's Day weekend. So I think I might vlog through the weekend, just get a few clips here and there. While we were out today, we got more paint because I painted this room here, which you saw in my home improvement video that went out. Hopefully it's gone out before this. And now I'm going to paint my office because that's the next space like over there. And then I want to paint the kitchen, but I don't know if I want to paint the kitchen white because my cabinets are white and I don't want my house to feel like a big white, big, big white. <laughs> so I don't know exactly what color. I don't know. It might look weird because our house is pretty open concept. It might look weird to have, you know, like that side of the house be all white and this side not be white. Like this is uh, like a grayish color that I just have to get rid of. Like the whole house is painted grayish 
and I'm just really not into it. So, but I know that I want to do like a backsplash tile situation. I haven't really looked that much, but I've been looking on Pinterest for some inspo because I don't want to do subway tile. I want to do something maybe like a little bit more fun and unique, a little bit more like off shapes. Uh, like not like perfect rectangles and stuff. You guys have to see this. Hold on. Do you guys want some food? Do you want food? Want it chewy? <laughs> you want some food? Oh my gosh, he's so cutie. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Okay. So we keep their food right here in their little bins because Koopy is on puppy food, Leo is on adult food, and we feed them the science diet, uh, dog food. That's what our vet recommended. So that's what we went with, and we have this little scoop that lives in here all the time. everybody it is now well evening <laughs> I didn't film anything today because I was just working and that's not very interesting so yeah now it's evening time and Daniel came home with a beautiful surprise for me look at how gorgeous these flowers are oh mercy he said that he wanted to do something that was a little bit non-traditional for Valentine's Day he wanted lots of color because he knows that like the dark winter has been affecting me. So he thought that all this color would really help and it smells so good. It is literally like so fragrant. This one specifically is like extremely fragrant and yum. Oh, I just love it. So yeah, I'm currently making dinner. I uh, took the liberty to water some plants today. Just finished filming a video actually before it got dark. So I finished work and then I filmed a video, which I can do now because it doesn't sun, like the sunset doesn't go, what am I saying? The sun doesn't set until like six-ish, which is really nice and like much better than 4.30, which is what we were working with for a long time. Cooper just loves to lay down. Like I was just standing right here. He loves to lay down so that he's touching me in some way. And sometimes he won't be touching me and I'll just like go to walk and I'll trip over him. So we call this the speed bump move. So something that I've realized about my cooking habits is I am like the CEO of making food that looks disgusting. This food that I just made is like shocking looking, but it is so good. So basically, here's what we're twerking with. I got some zucchini. There's also, uh, there's also broccoli, quinoa, and I also had green beans. I forgot to cook them. And it is this like brownish color because I put curry in it. So it's basically like a little stir fry thing, but like not as yum as like a, a restaurant. <laughs> but yeah, this is what I eat a lot, like stuff like this. So I'm at my little makeshift sewing station now and oh, this looks really yellow, hold on. Okay, I think that's a little bit more color accurate, maybe. So um, I, what I want to make is this little thing I found on Pinterest a while ago. I'll put a picture on the screen. And I wanted to make this like as a Christmas gift for people, but obviously it never happened and I still have like all the materials. So this is the like outside material. It's just like a terrazzo. And then I have this like matching blue terry cloth and it actually matches this fabric perfectly. It was really crazy because I was in, I think I was in like Hobby Lobby for some reason. I never go to Hobby Lobby, but I was there. And I happened upon this beautiful print and it was on sale. And then I was thinking like, oh, what can I make with it? And then I remembered that craft. And then I saw just a little bit of this terry cloth left and I saw that it matched perfectly, so.
Okay, so the little project is done. I just recorded an entire section talking about it and my microphone was not turned on, so that's classic. But this is it. I added a little tie in the tutorial. She had just a ribbon and I wanted to do like a matching tie. So that was really simple and it just rolls out and you can see all the little things I've put in there just to like test the sizes. So yeah, I made one extra big for my hairbrush and then this is like a utility toothbrush. This isn't really my toothbrush and razor, some makeup brushes. So yeah, all you do is fold this over and then roll it and it's that easy. And then you just wrap this around just like that. And it's perfect and clean for traveling or whatever, whatever else. If you just even want to have this at your house, you can roll everything up again. I have like this much terry cloth left and I'm not sure what to do with it. So I'm gonna look up some stuff. And on camera, this blue just looks terrible. <coughs> but in person, it's like, it's like very electric blue. It's the same blue as this one right here. I'm gonna look up and see if there's anything else I can do with terry cloth and see maybe I can like make a matching bathroom thing for this specific, uh, with, with this specific like set of fabric because using my sewing machine was honestly a breeze and I kind of wanna continue. Usually after I finish a project, I don't really wanna continue on until like the next day or something because I get so frustrated, but I only had one issue and it was a little tension thing, classic me, but it went away after I adjusted the tension. Oh my gosh, it just hit me what I can make. So I can make little reusable cotton rounds like to remove makeup and stuff. Like if I wanted to give this as a gift to someone else, it would be such a great gift. Obviously this one's for me, but this is a great gift to give to someone else. It was so easy. If you're looking for a simple project for someone, Good morning, everyone. Well, I guess it's afternoon. It's about noon right now. So yeah, I spent the morning just hanging out, chilling, had breakfast. We brought in wood this morning, started the fire. So it's been a quiet morning and I really liked it. Something that I did this morning was plan out a lesson because I just started volunteering with the local um, refugee agency and I was paired with a student last week. So we're just getting started teaching English. She does not speak any English at all. Well, like greetings, but other than that, I was putting together my lesson plan for her and then she couldn't meet today. So we're probably gonna meet next week instead. Um, but yeah, so I was thinking since I have the free afternoon now, I might go thrifting and I want to make a separate like thrifting video because I get so many requests to do a thrifting video and I feel like I could do it like so much more in depth if I did a separate video because I have a few things that I'm looking for. Um, mostly just like looking for home decor stuff because I need to decorate my home as I've talked about. All right, I am home from thrifting and I found so many wonderful things. I am so excited for you guys to see that video. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I feel like, do you guys know Axel McKenna? I love her channel, or both her channels actually. Um, I feel like she would be so proud of me with this thrift haul. Like, oh my gosh, the thrifting gods were smiling upon me today, which is very, very happy. So on the way home, I picked up some burritos from a place that I found that is like super legit Mexican food and I'm so happy that I found them. It's definitely like the Mexican food that I was eating in Tucson, like that kind of caliber, not like Chipotle. <laughs> and I'm just so thrilled that I found them. So I went and I got three burritos from there and I ate one of them on the way home because I was so excited and I was very hungry. And now, I kind of want to sew again so I'm not gonna film that because that might be kind of boring but I'm gonna make a headband to go with my set um, my my bathroom set and where is my purse so I went also to a little store to get this velcro I could only get a minimum of one yard so I got a yard of velcro even though I only needed like three inches, but that's okay. So anyway, I'm going to use that to make my little headband. Good morning, everyone. It is the next day and we have been just hanging out again. It's been another casual 
morning. It's actually afternoon. I think it's like three o'clock right now, so I haven't really filmed yet. Um, but I woke up this morning and I made breakfast for Dan as a happy Valentine's Day event because today is obviously Valentine's Day. And yeah, we had French toast. I made some over easy, over, not over hard, I guess like over easy where the yolk is like soft, but not super runny eggs. And then we watched a show that we watched together. And then Daniel went to the grocery store to get the supplies for our heart-shaped pizza tonight. And then while he was out, he was like, hey, should we try to go ice skating on the neighbor's pond? And I was like, yes, we absolutely should. So this morning, right after I finished cooking, I was just overcome with cramps. <laughs> so I started my period last night and I have a really, uh, she's not kind to me, let's just say that. My monthly is not kind. So I have been laying around pretty much all day because I've, felt really sick. Um, but I have my heating pad, I got my medicine, I took some ibuprofen. Ibuprofen doesn't usually work for me. Like the only medicine that usually works for me with cramps is Midol. And I ran out and I keep forgetting to buy it. Like I remember that I need it when I get the cramps. And then at that point it's like too late for me because it's already happening. I usually have like two days of bad cramps and then the last couple of days are better. But anyway, not the point. So, okay, he just went over to check the ice on the pond, sorry, because the neighbor said, you know, it's totally fine for us to go skate over there. They just wanted us to check it. It's been below freezing for like the last two weeks, like even the highs, so we think it'll be fine, but Daniel's just going over to check it, and then we're gonna go and get some skates because we don't have skates, so. I'm nervous to skate, but I'm gonna be wearing a lot of heavy clothing and gloves, so if I fall, it shouldn't hurt that much, you know what I mean? Daniel redid the rope on the seals of our fireplace, and it has been running like so much better because what was happening is it was burning the wood so fast, like so hot and so fast that the wood would just like disintegrate, you know what I mean? So it was because the seals on it were like faulty, like you're supposed to have like, what is it? Like fiberglass rope or whatever. And the glass part didn't have that. So the glass was like always moving. And so we knew that there was like faulty seals and the logs are lasting so much longer. Um, these are just little things that we're learning like our first year ever heating our house with wood. And I think that this will be so much better like overnight because we can put a bunch of wood in there and hopefully it'll last longer than like three hours because usually we, we wake up to like a really cold house. How is it out there? Not good. Not good. No. It's not frozen enough? No. How is it not like totally well, frozen? The snow kind of insulated a little bit. We are bundled up and we're going to Dick's Sporting Goods to find ice skates. As you heard in the conversation when Daniel walked in, it, it looks questionably frozen, but there is a section, well, okay, it is frozen for sure but it looks questionable whether the whole thing would be safe to skate on. So there is a section that is shallower that is definitely good. So we're going to go get some skates and a shovel to shovel off some snow so that the snow isn't insulating because the snow apparently insulates the pond so it doesn't freeze as hard. So we're gonna shovel off some snow to see if maybe tomorrow it'll be a little bit more frozen but we're gonna do some experimenting today. If we can, I mean, it's getting late-ish. It's very cold outside and windy, so we'll see. How confident do you feel? Um, we'll see. Very calculated answer, okay. I've never bought ice skates before, actually. Have you? Uh, no. Wow, this is fun. Fun. Fun new experience. Wait, this is a, a fun new winter experience that we're both having for the first time. <laughs> that has never happened. Usually, it's just me having the new experience because well, Daniel. Well, they said they have two shovels. Should we just use theirs? Oh, just you say yeah. that. Yeah, and then we can just get the ice skates tomorrow because. Uh, well, we can get it after we. We need to shovel it pretty quickly. So. So we need to go shovel it right now. Yeah, because it's gonna get dark here in the next hour or two. Yeah. Next hour or two, so. And no skates today? Well, let's just go get the skates Well, we'll get the skates around. after. Okay, okay. And then if they're closed, oh well, we go in the morning. Bing, bada, boom. Your hands are 
<laughs> okay, sounds good. All right, you need to go put on your, your gear. You need to go shovel in those shoes. I don't, I want to wear warm shoes. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So I'm going to go get dressed and then we'll walk. These, these are my warm shoes. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. I'm wearing Uggs. <laughs> They're the mini Uggs. I need taller Uggs. Okay. I do. Okay. So I should go put my coveralls on is what you're saying to me? Well, I'm, it's, it is windy and cold. I mean, I'm just saying, is that what you want to wear outside in the wind cold on snow? That's what I'm asking. So I should go, I'm gonna go put some coveralls. If I put those on, then I should be fine. On top of everything else I'm wearing. I'm wearing a little sweater, a long sleeve for insulation, and this big puffy jacket, a scarf, leggings, and uh, rain pants, which admittedly are not very warm, but they're waterproof. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm recording from Daniel's phone. And it's really cool. Let's not stand in the same spot. It's start cracking once we get close to each other. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> so we have. Okay, hold on. Let me turn it around. His phone. So we just cleared all of this out, all the way up to there. It's already filling back up. Yeah, and the snow's already taking back over. So we didn't want to do too much, but that just took like so long. How do you flip this back? I think, it's, I think you're taking pictures, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Um, anyway, so it's getting dark now, as you can see. Well, it's looked dark the whole time, but yeah. anyway. And it's cracking a lot more than usual, so. Yeah, and that's, it's cracking a lot. So we're going to go, Yeah. and it should be a lot more frozen tomorrow. But wait, look at Danny's cute frozen eyelashes. Aww, mine are, oh, mine are frozen too. Yeah. Not as much. Okay, bye. <laughs>